Don't worry, Pop Man. We'll, uh. Stuff. Things will work out, I think. So, With that, yeah, um. We'll look for food and other stuff. Food and shelter and stuff? I mean, we have shelter down there. Uh, shelter? You mean the 1,500 concrete and wooden pre prefab houses? Because those exist. Yeah, I mean, we could drag some beds down there where it's... Beds? All right, if you're going to look for beds, that that would be a thing. That would be a, uh, that would be an extra minus two on top of the minus four. I mean, yeah. actually, to be fair, we do have enough food to last us at least a few days now. Yeah, I mean, t I, mean I was going to... Uh, Start so, looking for uh, furniture and stuff like that because it's entirely possible that in one of these houses they left yeah. a chair. Pop Man's not going to look specifically for beds. He's going to look for anything that can be used as a bed or even just more broadly furniture. All right. Uh, furniture uh, still falls within that branch, though, of... Uh of being a, a relatively big item, but we'll say it's a minus five uh, in that case then, because, you know, there might have been a family who left a bench behind, in or fact, a chair, something of the nature. Top priority would be a sleeping bag. Okay. Do we have a crowbar amongst us? I'll go ahead and point out we each already have a sleeping bag from our shopping spree. Oh, we each still do? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, fair mm -hmm. enough. In that case... Fuck everything we, we I all have, We all have sleeping bags, but it's just like we could always use more because... Nah, I figured you were just looking for a better thing to sleep on. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, if we run into something, we run into something. So I'm going to have to ask. Uh, I'm pretty sure Army Salvage did not, like, tear out the cupboards, or did they tear out the cupboards in the in the kitchens? Army Salvage did not tear out the cupboards. Okay, so we at least, so we at least, have, a, we at least have a functionally infinite supply of wood. <laughs> we have a big supply. Of food. I'm not sure about that infinite part, but there are also like some of the like the prefab houses are of older and wooden variety. Now, of course, uh, in going through these houses, the wooden ones are uh, pretty dilapidated. It has been like maybe close to two years since this base had been operational, according to what you'd heard. And uh, some of these buildings uh, have fared better than others. The concrete ones have done all right. It's true to advertisement, that little framed uh, statement that you folks passed. Uh, they've uh, done a pretty stellar job now. Obviously, they, they, they have fallen into a little bit of disrepair. That's due to the fact there hasn't been any activity in them. At any rate, though, no. Army Salvage did not go through every single cottage and bungalow and remove cupboards. All right. Anyway, the the current the current list of things in priority is more food, things that can be used to sleep on, general furniture, and then other stuff. Okay. Like 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 if this house happens to have you know an epipen for some fucking region, I don't know. Okay. Well, we'll point out this is I believe an army base, correct? Yes. So there should well no matter what type of military base there should be an armory somewhere. Not near the houses, hopefully. Yeah, no. probably emptied out for sure. But yeah, no, good point. If Army Salvage has removed elevators and light fixtures from warehouses, then it's possibly emptied the armory. Right. Okay, so... But, like, there's more than just houses if there are other things that we're looking for. Sure, sure. Yep. Uh, as noted, there are, like, auxiliary buildings. Basically, what you can imagine that would support a, a town unto itself... With all the accoutrements of, you know, like, you know, your barber, or your commissary, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, definitely, as far as an army base goes, they're at least going to have some sort of armory area and, like, a motor pool. Mm -hmm. As okay, well as all so the offices for finance and whatever other worthless things. While you guys go talk about whatever other stuff we might want to try and track down, I'm going to go grab a plate of food and bring it back here real quick. Aaron's eating time. But we have all these cans. Why do you gotta go get food? Yeah, <laughs> right. we got all these well, cans. I mean, my vote is still definitely to build up an even bigger buffer of food so we, you know, have oh. more flexibility of things to do. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, I'll be right back. But, but yes, Ryan, as you're saying, you're definitely correct in that. There are other auxiliary buildings besides just the houses. Like, I know one thing we were definitely looking for were vehicles before. 
there might be one that they couldn't get running left in the motor pool that we might like, be able like to put more time into. Or something. Right, something. Or even a Humvee that they strip parts Why out do of. Why we need other vehicles? We have, we have the forklift. Yeah, we don't really have any way to charge it. Yeah, we do. We got the hand charger. Very slowly. Have fun with that one. <laughs> Dude, don't worry. I'll rig up some. I've got enough mechanic skill and electronic skill that I could probably rig up something that won't kill me all the time. Going to make a perpetual motion machine, aren't you? It'll only kill you <laughs> some of the time. <laughs> yeah, sixty percent of the time it kills me all the time. We'll just connect a pool cord to a really long rope and then drop stuff off of one of the apparently twin towers listed on the thing. And as yes. it falls, it'll pull this rope that'll charge it. The yeah. uh, the twin towers are ro located roughly in the epicenter. The two, I do believe, I said they were seven stories in height. Uh, buildings. Concrete blockhouses? <laughs> no, I'm just thinking uh, they, they, they have some purpose. We'll find out when we get there. You know, they're, uh, they're given their location, the fact there's a helipad near there, all sorts of other cool things. One's probably a hospital and the other one's probably administrative. If I had to guess. So, zombie headquarters. Well, if it was abandoned two years ago, it wouldn't be full of dying people. How do you know that? Well, we haven't seen many around here, as was noted by the zombie, not zombie movie discussion earlier. I mean, we did definitely see some dead bodies recently, though. <laughs> we made some dead bodies recently. Yes, and then we saw them being dead. Speaking of that one at the bottom might need some uh, second look. Hello. It'll be good and broken, won't it? It might be good and crawling around in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> what have I just come back to? <laughs> We're talking about someone slowly dying at the bottom of an elevator shaft. Or oh, already oh. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't really check. Yeah, I was kind of mentioning that that one might have turned. Well, the other one's dead. I know that one. I'm, like, gonna stay dead. Got rid hmm. of the head. Actually, yeah, that'd be an interesting thing to check on. Yeah, so he might just be down there crawling around in the dark. Because we've never seen for sure whether, you know, just corpse bodies that haven't been bitten change. We've seen possible evidence. He also wasn't checked to see whether he was bitten before That's he true. was chucked down a fucking three-story <laughs> elevator shaft. That's true. <laughs> At least there's not two of them down there. That we know of. Well, yeah. Anyway, let's get back to looking around. Sounds about right. I've, uh, I've listed, they've listed the things of importance to Grimace. If, uh, yeah, that, yeah, it's basically it. As long as food is somewhere on that list, I'm fine. Okay. You, uh, you folks can uh, go on your perception plus scavenging hunt. Cool. The minus four, that is a basic success for trusty Tony. Yeah. Now, you've given me your list, and I've already forgotten your list. No, I'm just First, <laughs> oh, I can list it out again because I have a pretty good picture. I, I was the one who said it, so I should remember it. Sure. Uh, the first was food. You're right. Second one was beds or things that can be used as beds. Third was furniture, and fourth was other stuff. All right, all right, all right. Uh, with that uh, basic success in mind, uh, Trusty Tony ends up finding a stack of uh, a few stacks of ramen noodles, enough to feed the group for uh, another two days. But we don't have a pot well, to cook yeah. them in. You just quite like dry we'll have dry. to eat those crackers. <laughs> Yum. Well, okay. Actually, yeah, so let's look for, you yeah. know, kitchenware and stuff. Uh, you, you, Eugene uh, ends up uh, finding some, some disappointments. You know, it's just like, oh my goodness, I found another bag of 3D... Fuck, it's empty! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Seems they were into it, too. A Dyson sphere of disappointment. Yeah. And how just can a, you blame just, them? Just a few stale graham crackers.
Huh, no, many of them. Um, and then in this next hour, uh, is yeah. You know, Popman's top priorities are actually going to be uh, kitchen implements, especially. Um, he doesn't know. He doesn't know I have ramen. Oh, fair enough. We we're not checking back in regularly now. No. No. <laughs> He, but 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 still, he has all the soup. Like, how is he gonna cook the the soup in his helmet? Come on, it comes cooked. It's pre-cooked. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's not enough. it's not preheated. And <laughs> not too worried about. That. He's fucking worried about the ramen, but not soup. Shut up, you're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. actually, you know, Eugene is dumb. That is a factually correct statement. He has an intelligence he of one. Does have the intelligence of a five year old? <laughs> Except and when that's no joke. <laughs> Except when it comes to things related to marijuana, then he is like a fucking a prophet. space wizard or something. <laughs> Idiot savant. Exactly. Yeah. I prefer space wizard. Stoner savant. Whatever, Jetty. You, you, you don't get to make up your own nickname. People give you your nickname. Yeah, Pop Man. So that's what he's been doing wrong. <laughs> He's basically just been crossing all the nicknames he wants off of everybody else's list. Pretty much. What was it again? Weed Corp? Hmm? Ah, God. Nothing. You cut out on that one. Oh, Weed (laughs) Corpse? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, anyways, uh, Trusty Tony is going to change his hierarchy of stuff. Actually, now I'm picturing a special zombie type that just lets, well, not narcotic, but intoxicating smoke roll off of it wherever it goes. You could call it a smoker. Nah, that'll never work. Won't catch on. It won't catch on. It it won't work. And the circle of hate continues. Mm Mm-hmm. Of course, the circle of hate. It will always continue. Anyway, Trusted Tony is going to lower food down from top of the list to third on the list and add kitchenware to number one. All right. number Especially two. pots and hot plates. Pots and hot plates. All right, those are small enough that they might have been left behind. I can see that. All right. Scavenge roll now? Sure. Achoo. Okay, I failed. Uh... Let's see here. What has been located? It's n- nothing that Trusty Tony might immediately see of use. There is like a a throwing. There's like a rolling pin. There's a cheese grater. It's like a wooden stirring spoon. A tea pitcher. Is there any hmm. tea in it? No. Shame. Shameful. Oh. Want some of that two-year-old tea? <laughs> a, 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 a few Lipton tea bags, four of them. You know. Well, nice now, time. well, now we're now we're talking. I'm gonna assume I'm gonna take a wild guess and say there's no running water. We just need a bag of sugar and we'll be set. You drank your Sweet tea with sugar, tea. you bastard. There is. Yeah, a... I'm from the south. <laughs> yeah. There's no running water up here. No. Well, shit. There goes that idea. No tea for us. <laughs> We'll just throw the tea bags into our own storage of potable water. <laughs> sure, why not? Yes. And uh, D four endurance loss. Please. All right. Okay. Yes, my lord. All right, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> that Dyson sphere of disappointment's coming back to get him. Hey, out real well that for endurance loss yeah. this is disappointing. Popman has a pretty large amount of endurance normally anyway. Yeah. Yeah, you tell yourself that. Yeah. <laughs> he actually does. He's got plenty to lose. What the hell happened to Cat's endurance? I'm not sure if my token saved the last time I recovered, but it's okay. No, you should <laughs> have like... It might not end up being okay. <laughs> you have... Fine. You're like 20 below. Not sleeping well, obviously. <laughs> there has See, been some of that. Yeah. You, you, you've you only lost uh, seven endurance points. So, it should be how much you have missing. 
All right. So you should have 28. If you insist. All right, I'll feel better. God. I mean, you just keep arguing with him about it. But... I mean, if you, if you want to start <laughs> something about it. You want to fight about it? <laughs> All right. Sounds like fighting words. The search what can continue answer? then now. The search continues. The search continues. Uh, uh, okay, I missed. Uh, Closer this time. You're back a hero phone. Alright. Yeah! Uh, I'm getting closer and closer to really badly failing. Alright, if you've ever wanted, like, your collect personal collection of measuring cups, a cooking sheet, uh, tablespoon and teaspoons, uh, a few, like, simple plastic cups for drinking, uh, that, this was your hour. This was the best hour. Um, like, I'll like, take... like, like, like the drinking cups are even stylish in that they have like uh, they're like they have like the little plastic insulation that's translucent so you can see what you're drinking through it, and they have like little stylization like like playing cards like an ace or a, or a king. I forget. Take has the... the Phantom Menace come out yet? I don't believe so. I thought it came out. Damn it! And we don't have any stylishly tacky Star Wars cups from that era. I'm back. Actually, there. it would be out by a couple months. Okay, out, then like, we have a deluge of stylishly tacky All of them from Phantom McDonald's. Menace right, but this base closed before the Phantom Menace was Oh, I know. True. I'm asking for the rest of the world. Yeah. Someday. <laughs> Someday you'll get your McDonald's Phantom Menace cups. Yep. Because they're the it. ones that do all those promotional cups. Hot Man almost had a full set. At, at, <laughs> at, any, at any rate, that's all that was acquired. Trusty Tony will definitely take the plastic drinking cups because they'll be somewhat useful. Sure. Probably. Sure. You can That's add uh, three plastic drinking cups. <laughs> that means one person has to share. Well, technically, we two can use people have like to rainwater share. because that's safe to drink. Yeah, these things probably haven't been cleaning forever, so they're probably safe to drink. Out of? Yes, the cups are safe to drink. <laughs> drinking that cup, melting it down, drinking the plastic. Melt it down the spoon and drink it. Can't stop me. That's right. okay, Cookie okay. sheet, melting it down, drinking it. Yep. <laughs> gonna continue scavenging. It down. Gonna continue scavenging unless someone else has a better idea. Uh, seems like I mean, we're pretty much killing the entire reason we're here for the night. Yeah. <laughs> what time is it Isn't in the game? That? It's okay. 6 p.m. Oh, there. You actually have it on the screen. Yes, I do. So, Along with the number of houses cleared. J just yeah. so you can ask me. Put the numbers there. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're in the <laughs> sky. <laughs> no, it means we're going to have to clear all of them now that we have the number we have cleared. If you guys want the achievement, you're going to have to. can't get 100% of the achievements. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get 100% achievement because... Fletch is never going to find Dr. Knight or whatever. Our gamer like. score is going to suffer. We want 1,000 this. That's right. How, how are you supposed to get all the trading cards? If, uh, Steam trading we cards can only like, get like The collectible five. cops! I know. They keep giving me the fucking horse trading card. <laughs> and then I gotta wait for people to make more sets so that I can maybe get a pack? Come on. Maybe. Only gotten two of those in my entire time on Steam. I know, like, ever since trading cards started, I've gotten two packs. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Trusty Tony's gonna, actually like... gotten a pack? Trusty Tony's like, how about we just search for one more one more set of things? Yeah, yeah and then we start getting dark get uh, Yeah. Okay. Scavenge away! Scavenge away. S scavenge away. Alright. If it was a minus three, I succeeded. If it was not a mi if it was minus more, I, I it's failed. Only, it's only a minus three. Well, uh... You're welcome. Yeah, yes, uh, through, through the power of Fletcher's incredible uh, observational skills, Trusty Tony's like, Oh, whatever, this house is fucking done. And Fletcher's like, you didn't even look through that cupboard. There's nothing. All you did was look in the front window. <laughs> Tony's <not> like, clear. <laughs> Flashbacks from the school. Trusty Tony's remembering getting shot. Like, 
Oh, fuck it, fine. If it makes you feel better, like, flourishes as he opens the cupboard and... Huh. What do you he know? Dives, oh, there's he a... dives in through the window. Yeah. <laughs> There's a there's a small pot uh, pot that's used basically to fit like uh, two cans of soup. Uh, there's also a skillet available along with a uh, a nice you know thing where you can like say flipped grilled cheese sandwiches. Is it like an auto flipper where it's like two pans one over the other and then you just flip the whole? Unfortunately, one over? of those devices is not it. Did there. Billy Mays sell it to them? Yeah. Billy Mays here. No, he's still alive. Yeah, he's well, still alive. He might be. He might be zombie maze now. New objective zombies. received. New objective <laughs> received. Find out the fate of Billy Mays. <laughs> That's an optional like Easter egg. <laughs> what are you talking about? That unlocks the best gun in the game. You also, uh, trusty Tony, also finds an accomplice and wonderfully this a nice assortment of uh, kitchen knives for the proper butchery. Most proper butchery. For butchery. Uh, you should have these, Fletch. Should I? Uh, I don't know. I don't know the first thing about knives. Give them to the sadist. They're, they're, All right. They're, they're, they're not really like throwing knives. The, the, the Jinsu 9000 might be able to cut through just about anything, but it's oh, not it's really like the Jinsu 9000. It's, it's wow. kind of the, like, from my knife <laughs> knowledge, that is the worst balanced knife ever <laughs> created. <laughs> You just you can't throw it. One hundred percent of the times they stab you. Fighting yourself. knives, either really. That's not what they're. Well, I'm just giving them to you to carry while I carry these pots and pans. Sure, I can do that. And this medical kit, and these ramen noodles, and this kitten. <laughs> <laughs> the kitten is in the pot. <laughs> Oh, it, 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 no, it's actually, like, it's got, like, a pot sitting in one of the pots, and it's wearing, like, a smaller pot, like, on top of its little head. It, it has, like, it the largest pot. measuring cup that we found on top of its head. Yes, there you go. For, like, a tablespoon. B-movie, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. And, uh, you so folks suffered... This kit just became tiny. <laughs> and you folks suffered D4 endurance loss. Oh yeah, suffering so bad. I know. I know, Fletch is feeling the burn, man. I don't know how much longer he can take. <laughs> well, apparently really... for 66 more hours of this. I, I mean, you know, Fletch pretty much is just strolling, like... <laughs> just like... He's gonna sleep the whole time. And then we, uh, group back up again. He, like, finds a bench he doesn't tell anyone about. He that, just sits that blue on bench out front. He's yep. just laying on top of it. <laughs> Baking in the yeah. sun. Yeah. Or, well, it was the sun. Not... And that How lovely... has the sun changed? <laughs> it's got a few splotches on it so, now. It's, it's a zombie sun. It got bitten. Sun zombie. Which means uh, moon zombie. Zombie? At any Wait. rate, yes. No, no, hold up. If the sun got bitten, and if UV rays are constantly biting us, oh god! This is this, was... is this is above Pop Man's pay grade. This sounds <laughs> exactly like the kind of thing Pop Man would be talking about. <laughs> this is exactly Pop Man's pay grade. This is only Pop Man's pay grade. <laughs> I remind you, an intel or a stat of one is that of a five year old in this game. Hey. Hey. Anyway, they re come back they come back together and Trusty Tony's like, Hey look what I found. That's that's stuff that kids like to eat these days. And pots and pans. You guys don't seem surprised. Or that enthused. Uh, um, is that a measuring cup on that cat's head? I Oh. Me? Maybe. It's a hat. You've obviously not seen the latest in feline headwear. It's, it's a cat. Hat. I see. And now, as it inches towards you, the death of us will now be the death of you. Oh, the death of us! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's still mislabeled kitten. <laughs> 
I don't think that's a mislabel. <laughs> that's what's been labeled as for like the last six sessions, Aaron. Yeah. Not accurate, though. Is that better? Yes. There we go. All right, let's get back to our little hole in the ground. Cause that, to be that's fair, where... it's a pretty big hole in the ground. Yeah, it's it's not very little. Um... I said hole in the ground. I didn't say little, or I didn't quantify, qualify I, the size. I, I think you said little. Shut up. I know what I said. You can trust me. <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> literally incapable of arguing with that. <laughs> that kind of logic you just can't get anywhere else. Yep. Quick, yeah. everyone everyone, back on the battle wagon. Alright. That is all what you are choosing to do. You can look back gonna, up in the battle wagon. And then we're going to peel off at a, at a cruising seven miles an hour. Alright. Seven miles an hour, we don't have to walk. Yeah. Yeah. Have there been any signs throughout the past six hours or so that there may be anybody else in the area? You know, I'm glad you asked. For the for the purposes because roll initiative. <laughs> uh, no, no, not yet. For the purposes of this query, I have to ask Trusty Tony since he was the driver. Uh, which uh, which road would you like to take to head on back to the the warehouses? Oh, okay. I was typing out some dumb thought. Um, <laughs> road, road. Yes. Well, which road did we take? Which road did we come on in? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I mean, is you I like see the, our I like this base? one. Okay. This one is nice in the middle. Symmet symmetry. All right. All right. That's fine. That's fine. You can definitely take that one. Well, uh, Tristy Tony's puttering along on his battle wagon. All of you are. Uh, are observant, as delightfully observant as you could be. Uh, so delightfully observant that, uh, could I get perception plus notice skill checks from you for? Please? Well, Sight-based. I mean, you could. Maybe. Let's see. What bonus is that? I'm glad I went through and fixed my entire character sheet now. Alright. Well, okay then. With all those successes combined, you form uh, quite enough to observe uh, what's transpired. Uh, actually, at a sufficient enough distance. Uh, especially because uh, it'll end up being um, everyone except for Fletch who ends up noticing this. Uh, you guys are a considerable distance away. Uh, maybe, uh, I'll probably say with the, the grand sight range that you could have here, uh, maybe 150 yards just scoping about. And, uh, a few trees end up getting out of the way, and uh, off in the distance... Get out the way, trees! I know, a few trees end up getting out of the way. A, uh, out, of, out of the distance, uh, parked uh, near where the warehouse complex is, and you none of you must have heard this while you all were searching through houses. Perhaps not even Potman and his amazing hearing capabilities. It's a helicopter. Two forklifts chained together back to back in the middle of the road with spike strips <laughs> off to the side. <laughs> <laughs> Clever girl. Shit, I wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> and uh, since uh, three successes were involved, a uh, helicopter, uh, the blades are still whirring on it. Uh, it has not been turned off. They left their keys in. And... Uh, off to the side are standing uh, two, uh, looks like uh, United States soldiers dressed in full body armor. They're facing uh, towards the warehouse complex. Is either of them Electro? Ooh, well, you're 150 no. yards away. I, I'd recognize him. In full body armor. <laughs> so recognize the helicopter's him. still running. Is anyone else thinking what I'm thinking? Oh yeah, I think that no one here knows how to pilot a helicopter. Wait, 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 wait. It would helicopter. only be a minus two, so I'd have a plus two to the roll. <laughs> no, no, it would definitely be a, be minus, like a minus ten. Yeah. You go in there, see all the buttons and switches, and just pass out. 
Okay, so I no. have three. I have I've, three experience points. How many would I have to expend to even get that up to a minus two? I'm all okay. about just holding off, holding back, and hoping they just leave if they don't find people here. Soldier herder two, soldier herder one. They even have nicknames already. They even have nicknames. So Aaron doesn't name them. Oh. <laughs> As far as just creating some options here, what type of helicopter is it? I don't mean specifically, but like yeah. visually. Looks like a troop transport, like the one that would carry two to three dozen people or a, you know, powerful, you know, heavy duty cargo. Does it have guns on the sides? Uh, looks like it does not. So we can't hop in the back of it and aim them. Man, that would be a great time to have a fucking grenade launcher. 